Hello and welcome to this TDD tutorial. This is a third section of this course, which means you already finished two, so congratulations on that. That also means that in previous sections you've had your first contact with TDD. There we might rush some things regarding the installation of unit test frameworks and configuration of the test projects in order to come to the really important parts of test driven development. Now let's fix all that and go through this whole process of creating test projects, installation of unit test frameworks and writing the tests. Let's complete the circle. So, in this section we are going to cover the whole picture. First we are going to create test project in Visual Studio and then we are going to do a similar thing in Visual Studio code. Then we will check patterns for arranging and formation of the test code. And finally, we will run through continuous testing and code coverage. So, as stated already, in first video of this section, we will create test project in Visual Studio and get hold of some tips and tricks. Here is the plan of the attack. We will see how we can create test projects in Visual Studio, install XUnit, test framework, and run some simple tests. In next video, we are going to do the similar thing in Visual Studio code. To be more exact, in this example, we will create two projects, one for implementation, another for unit tests. This is a step forward from examples in previous sections where we use the same project for tests and for the implementation. This will organize our code better and make everything nicer. In the second testing project, we will install XUnit test framework using Package Manager Console in Visual Studio. And finally, we will implement simple odd service using TDD. This service will check if numbers passed to the service is odd. Very simple, but we will close the, this whole loop and make all things come together. So, let's do it. Here is Visual Studio. So first, let's create project and solution called odd service. This will be class library .NET framework. Don't use the one for .NET Core. So keep that in mind. Do this by going to File, New, Project, and we'll create class library .NET Framework. We'll call it Odd Service. Okay, great. Now let's create test project. We'll right click on the solution, go to Add, and then go to New Project. We'll filter it by clicking on test here and here it is unit test project for dotnet framework template so we will use that one we'll call it odd service tests cool now i will delete these classes that visual studio created by default and also i will add a reference to this project odd service in odd service tests this is just so we don't have problems later when we start implementing our tests. Okay, great. Now let's add test class. We'll do that by... Okay, great. Now let's install XUnit in this odd service test project. You can do this by clicking right click on the project and manage no get packages and uh, here search for the packages you need to install. In this example, I will use Package Manager Console. I prefer to do things that way because it gives me more freedom. So I will go to Open Package Manager Console. I will go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and Package Manager Console. As you remember from previous videos, we need to install three packages for XUnit, XUnit Console Runner, and XUnit Visual Studio Runner. Make sure you've selected the correct project here because some commands that will run are bound to the project that has been run on. So, for installing packages, we will use install package command followed by the name of the package. So, let's install XUnit package. And we'll do that like this. Press enter. Great, now XUnit package is installed. Now we need to install a runner console. If we are not sure what's the full name of our package, we can just type the part of the name here and press tab, and then the options will show up here. So we need runner console. Nice, we installed that one too. 
And finally, we need Visual Studio Runner to install it. So we will do it like this. Great, we install all the packages we need. Also, if you want to uninstall the package, you can use uninstall package command like this, but we won't do that right now. Another command that is quite useful is update package command. This command will update all your projects to their latest version. So we'll run that command. Awesome, congratulations. You've just configured your first test project and learn how to manipulate NuGet packages using Package Manager Console. Now let's implement odd service. Now because we are following TDD, we will create first a test class and we will call it odd service test. Right click here, add new item and we will call it odd service. Great, let's remove this name and we will use X unit, and we also already know that we will use namespace from odd service so we will include it here this namespace doesn't exist yet because we have nothing in odd service project so we will make this class public because our test classes need to be public and we will create now our test method but before that, let me explain that I already kind of know that our odd service will have one method. That method will be called is odd, and uh, it will receive one integer value. And based in the information is that number odd or even, it will return true or false. So let's create a first test method, and we will use theory for that, meaning we will define some data for this test. Okay, so label theory. And we will pass some odd numbers here. We will say inline data. Let's say we will pass numbers three, five, and seven. Five and seven. This will, of course, will be public void. And we will call this method is odd method, odd numbers returns true and handle the data that is passed into this test great now we will follow the standard procedure that we've done in previous examples we will create the object of the service of course the class doesn't exist yet so our build will fail then we will call is odd method and then we will use assert to check the validity of the result we will call the class odd service implementation. Okay. So now call the function and pass the number. And uh, we will use true function of the assert class to check the result. It receives just one argument and it is pretty self explanatory. It checks if that is true. So assert dot true and we'll pass the result great let's build this code and of course this build is failing so we need to implement this class in our implementation project so let's add this class add new item we'll add a new class call it like this clean all this and make this class public and now we need to define is odd method. So it will be public, it will return bool, and it will be called is odd, and it will re receive one integer value. And now we need to implement the minimal amount of code for our test to pass. So what do you think, what is the minimal amount of code? It is return true. Now, why is that? You may be tempted to implement this function because it's really simple right away. But this is TDD. It requires some discipline and sometimes it might look silly. Because this test is pretty simple, this implementation will be simple too. This is our happy path. So, once we build this code, we will see that build passes now. And when we run this test, they will all pass. 
of course because we are expecting here to receive a true value and we are returning from this function always true so let's implement sad path for that we will use theory again but we will use different data we will use even numbers now so we will use numbers like 2 4 and 6 but for starters let's just use 2 we will define another method it will be public void of course and we will call it is odd method. Even numbers returns false. And we will pass the date. Now we will follow the same procedure, create the object and call the method, return the result and store it in a local variable. We will use assert class again, but now we will use false function of assert. So so basically, we are expecting our result for the pass number 2 to be false. Let's build this, run the tests, and as expected, this test fails, because our function is always returning true. Now let's implement our setpad or the true implementation of this function. Like this. Let's build this code and run the tests great now this test passed but let's add some more data as i mentioned before we'll use numbers like four and six build the code rerun the tests great awesome the old tests pass everything is fine Congratulations, you just went through the whole circle of creating and configuring test project and implementing simple odd service.